And I feel, feel like this book is going to be the foundation for what's to come in the future. I truly believe that. I feel like this book was great, 21 Days in Africa, because it shared the story of all the Subi projects doing in Africa. It shared the joy of the Lord that's out there that doesn't exist here sometimes. It shared them relying on God for every single need that they have. But this book is going to say so many other things as well that that book couldn't. This book is going to reach a whole new audience that that book may never reach. And, and that's just the beautiful thing about creating is there's always different levels. There's always different arms and limbs to things and reach and extension that you can go out there and you can really impact lives and impact souls. And Armani did that, which is who he was. He didn't have to write a book. His, his life was the book. <laughs> That's a bar. Yeah. And I believe it's also going to be the book that I put in someone's hand first. You know, it's like, that's going to be the first thing I'm so proud of, you know, like, Hey, read this one. Like, Hey, yeah, that one's cool. I love that one. That, but that was that was my freshman album. This is my sophomore album. Take the sophomore album, you know? And I think it's going to be something, this is truly special. And my man, Mike Garza, actually um, kind of put this on my heart recently that know the type of man that uh, I was blessed to have in my life at that age. And I pray it encourages them to find a great friend with a pure heart and a ge generous spirit like Armani had. And that's what it's about, man. My kids are... 10, four and one and a half right now. Like they haven't even gotten to that point of like where I was when I met Armani, but I hope that my, my book about Armani is going to be the thing that's going to lead them to seek a friend out like that and cherish a friend. If they do find one like that, cherish them because they could be gone like that, like that, you know, and I would dive into, Oh, how, how did he, you know, how did he get called home to be the Lord? But that's not even the important part. You know what I mean? It's like, I'll share that in the book, obviously, because it's context. But like right now, that's not even the important part. The important part is everything else we've been sharing. <laughs> and I also hope it encourages, encourages and leads people reading to live their life in a way that is book worthy. We talk about the standing room only, but what about living your life in a way that is book worthy? Are you living your life in a way that somebody's going to possibly write a book about you if you go home too soon? I don't know. Something to think about. Am I? Some days. Some days I'm in the flesh, though. <laughs> and in this digital age that we're living in, oftentimes books get the last priority when it comes to consuming content. But there's still something so special about them despite that. Every time I touch that book, I'm telling you, I feel something that's just different. It's hours of work. It's hours of staying with it and editing it in strange places just so you can see it, what the vibe is like. How is it when, when I read it outside? How is it when I read it in a coffee shop? How is it when I read it on a plane? You know, it's, it's, it's special. There was so much time, energy, and effort that got put into that. I went to a third world country to write it. And I didn't even know I was going to write it until I got there, honestly. But still, you get the point. <laughs> and man, a book will live for generations. A book is a tree that will outlive you. Do it for the one. See the tree? Come on now. That tree is going to outlive you, man. Do it for him. A book is a platform and an opportunity to release everything that's just been inside of you. Everything you felt about a situation. Everything that you want somebody else to know about somebody else or whatever you're deciding to write about, whether it's you, whether it's God, whether it's a story, whether it's fiction, you know, it's like paint, you know, make characters, tell a story. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful platform. And this is going to be a vulnerable project that will probably be outside my realm of understanding of how much God's going to do with it. You know, like I'm saying the stuff that I, I'm that he's already telling me, but what about all the things that are going to happen that I don't even know about yet, you know, and aligning my perspective of doing it for the one is going to bridge that reality. It's going to be the thing that's going to make you say, Oh, that's what he was doing the whole time. Like it was the one person that was like, man, that book helped me grieve the loss of my son. That book helped me understand the afterlife. That book helped me live my life in a way in which was book worthy. That way it made me want to like pour into my relationships and make sure it's not just a whole bunch of chairs at that funeral. You know, like this life is short, but eternity's long, like my boy Olivier says. 
Thank you so much for supporting our YouTube channel. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. If you would like to see another short clip from this episode, you can do so here. Or if you want to see the full conversation, you can do so here. And make sure you subscribe on Patreon if you'd like to partner with us. You can do that at the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.